Hey, good afternoon everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Well, we're starting to get some blue sky and sunshine after pretty much a solid week of the darkest conditions you could imagine. So, things are looking up solar-wise. All systems are charged up or are very close to being charged up. So that's very nice. All in all, pretty decent day. So here we have another lithium iron phosphate battery from Time USB. They sent this battery out the other day and it's a different version than we've ever tested. This is the 25.6 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery from them. It packs a whopping 2560 watt hours of power. And it's a beautiful battery, as we expect from Time USB. If you watched my uh, earlier videos on their 200 amp hour Pro, which was a 12.8 volt lithium iron phosphate battery. This packs more power in a smaller package compared to a 100 amp hour size 12 volt battery. Really nice. And like most of the other batteries we review, they all look very similar on the top. They come with these nice thread protectors. So your threads are in good shape when it arrives. Nothing can get in there and score them to any degree. And they have these nice lift up handles, one on each side. Makes it really easy to move these around. We've all seen this type of style before. And this ought to be a nice battery. We're going to put it through a lot of tests. And we'll just go over a few of the specs here. So this is what you would use for a 24 volt system. It's 25.6 volts nominal uh, versus a 12 volt 100 amp hour battery, uh, which has 1280 watt hours. This has 2560. That's incredible. That's basically double the power. In a, in a just a smaller package than the, the 12 volt batteries that we see. So these pack in eight grade A cells. They have over charge protection, over discharge protection, over current, short circuit, and high temperature protection. The cycle life on this battery is 4,000 to 15,000 cycles, depending on how you would use it. Uh, it boasts over 4,000 cycles at an 80% depth of discharge. So depending on your depth of discharge and your daily functions will depend on the, uh, on the life of this battery, but it's going to last a very, very long time. And if you were only cycling this at the, say, 50% on your daily usage, then, you know, you're looking at thousands of more cycles than that. So possibly up to 15,000 cycles. So you're going to get at least 10 years out of this battery, probably no matter how you use it and possibly a lot longer if you uh, size your system to where you don't have to do huge depths of discharge. But even if you were to run this thing at 100% depth of discharge, uh, you're not going to hurt the battery. Uh, you wouldn't probably want to do that over the long haul. I never try to size my systems to where I'm draining them completely. I like to cycle in that 80% depth of discharge or even less so you can extend the life of these batteries. So this comes with a 100 amp BMS built in and it has an IP rating of IP65. So basically up here, you know, it's it's waterproof. It's sealed here with the epoxy. 
So this would be great for uh, a marine application. It's lightweight, would be great for RVs or camping. Uh, very easy to move it around. Comes with a five year warranty. They have 24 hour customer service and they say that any type of a problem, once you notify them, they are going to respond to you within 24 hours. And that's what we've come to expect from a lot of these companies. Their customer service has been top notch. I've heard from a lot of you people out there that have Time USB as your power source and you're loving it and have had zero issues. I have not heard of a single complaint of these batteries. That 12.8 volt 200 amp hour Pro that I mentioned earlier and you can watch the earlier videos on that. I've been running that 24 seven in various applications, still doing more demonstrations and documenting those that I will show you guys over time. But I can tell you it has performed flawlessly and I expect nothing less of this one. And like all of these batteries, uh, they come with your uh, M8 terminal bolts. They throw in an extra set here for you, which is nice. Always have an extra set. So they throw in two sets. And then you've got your terminal protection covers, one for your negative and one for your positive. And those are nice once you get your battery all tied up to have a little protection so you don't ever make contact with where your battery cables are con uh, tied into. Uh, it comes with a really nice product manual and then a quick reference guide that is mostly on safety issues. And it's just very, very basic. It's good. It does cover the basics that you would want to know if you're not familiar with any of these uh, batteries or what they can do. But this is very basic. Whereas the manual itself is packed full of just tons of great information. Shows you how to hook it up in different configurations. You could uh, tie more of these in for a larger 24 volt system. Or you could also tie... Uh, more in and make a 48 volt system with these batteries. So the versatility of, of this type of a battery uh, has a lot to offer. And then the sheer amount of power that is in one of these is just, just incredible. One of the things that I really like when using a battery that I've never used before, this is the first 24 volt system uh, battery that I've ever reviewed and uh, consequently have ever uh, used. So I like to see that they always include a state of charge chart for you so you can, while you're getting used to what uh, uh, voltages mean what in percentage of your battery, it gives you that. 27 volts is fully charged 100% and then down the line. So, you know, 70% is 26.4 volts. 40%, 26.2, and so on, all the way down. I really like having a quick reference, especially when I'm getting used to working with various voltages. So that's very, very nice to have that in there, just at a glance. And the other thing that is really nice on this too, they go uh, a little bit extra in showing you exactly how to hook up your batteries, uh, which is very nice too. And then they show uh, different configurations for different size battery banks you'd want to build. If you wanted to go ahead and build 48 volt system out of these, it shows you exactly how to do that. So these are the type of things that are in the manual. It's pretty in depth. It's very easily understood. And that'll help a lot of you that don't know anything about these uh, as far as what you can do with them. And here we put the multimeter on it. This is a battery at rest. It has not had any charge on it since it arrived. It's reading 26.43 volts. That's what it showed when it arrived. And then if we drop down and look at the chart, 26.43. We could call that basically 70% full at rest. All of these values are at rest. So that's how it arrived, 26.43 volts. Always good to have one of these. Check your battery voltage.
So with that 100 amp BMS at 24 volts, you're going to be able to power a large, uh, a large appliance of your choice. We're going to be tying this into several different large appliances out here for a usage test and we'll monitor that over days and weeks and months of course like I always like to do so you guys can see how these all perform over time. And I wanted to say one other thing about their customer service as like all of the batteries that I review I spend a considerable amount of time corresponding with the customer service. I find them all extremely responsive and helpful in anything I could possibly need to help me understand some of their products. And I could assure you that they're gonna do the same for you. These people stand behind their products. They're proud of them. And I always like to see that. That's just a, a fantastic thing. Gives you a lot of confidence for when you make a major purchase. In time USB is really considered a very budget friendly battery. They're definitely not the most expensive, but I have heard zero complaints. Like I said, people are loving these. I've seen many different installations. Some of you send me pictures of your installations on various batteries, and I've seen some on this, this brand as well. And I just wanted to give you a size comparison. This is the 200 amp hour Pro right here that we have reviewed earlier. 12 volt and then right there is the new 24 volt. They're basically the same length have maybe just about a half an inch more length on the 24 volt battery and then on the width this is narrower by about one inch compared to this And there's quite a bit of difference in weight. So this is going to be really ideal for your uh, RV, campers, and more portable installation. This one's a bit heavier. Um, maybe a little bit better for a cabin. I mean, you could put that in an RV as well. But this is definitely easier to move around. Just as, just as a little comparison in size for you. And what we're going to do in a follow-up video is tie it into this charging station that I have, which is currently configured for a 12-volt system. But because we're going to be using that particular Victron charge controller, it will charge 24 volts as well. So I'll pull the battery off that's on there now, reconfigure this to 24 volts, and then we have a 24-volt inverter that we'll swap this 12 volt inverter out with. And then we're gonna charge it up with solar. 400 watts of solar is what we're gonna tie into this battery. And then we'll charge it up all the way and then we're gonna plug it in and start using it. So this is gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, first 24 volt battery we reviewed out here. Looking very forward to seeing how well it works. I have no doubts it's just going to do fantastic. Grade A cells, 100 amp BMS at 24 volts. It's going to be amazing. And that will be followed up very shortly for you guys. So you can see, I'd love to hear from you guys that are running this particular battery, how well it's working for you, as well as other time USB. It's definitely a quality battery and it doesn't hurt your pocketbook too bad. So thanks for tuning in, everybody. So after several days of darkness, we're getting pretty good sun today. All the systems charged up. Got a couple, one, two, two different strings tied up out here. And we're going to tie in that top 400 watts into that new 24 volt battery from Time USB and see how it goes. Looking forward to it. Can't wait to share it with you guys. Yeah, fantastic sunshine today, at least here towards the end of the day. Catch you guys on the next one. Aloha.